High school program is allowing students to play a big part in restoring Florida's natural coastline. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us why so many people are getting involved with Florida's plant life. It is a huge problem here in Florida. Plants that don't belong here. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people hear about the pythons down the Everglades and the very large invasive animals. Invasive plants are just as big of a problem. Invasive plants like these creeping oxeye that smother Florida's native plants. Which is bad for the environment and the grounds and the animals and the water. They don't feed the native wildlife, the native insects. And it just destroys everything. Which is why volunteers are working hard at Linda Pedersen Park near Florida's nature coast to remove what doesn't belong. And about 20 miles inland, we have a lot. <laughs> a group of Hernando High School students have been working all year. Gotta make sure I'm not squishing the leaves. To add back what does belong. Golardia. <laughs> Difficult to pronounce. They've grown 500 native plants in the school's greenhouse from seedlings. We have a bunch of people that came out during class fertilizing them and making sure they're getting plenty of water. The students will replace the invasive plants with the native ones they worked hard to grow. You know, we've had some challenges where half the roof of the greenhouse was blown off with Irma and we had to fix it, but you know, we've, we've overcome. Overcome a life lesson, just like the students are helping Florida's native plants do with all these plants. I'm helping the soil and the air and all the water and the animals. I try to teach my students their lives aren't about them. It's about who they're helping and what they're doing for other people. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.